For our first client component pattern, let's talk about the separation of client-only code. Earlier, we looked at server-only code in Next.js applications, and now we are going to flip things around and focus on client-only code. Just like how we need to keep certain operations server-side, it's equally crucial to keep some functionality strictly on the client side. And what exactly is client-side code? Well, it's code that works with browser-specific features like DOM manipulation, window object interactions, or local storage operations. These features aren't available on the server, so we need to make sure such code runs only on the client side to avoid server-side rendering errors. To prevent unintended server-side usage of client-side code, we can use a package called client-only. Let's dive into VS Code and understand with an example. From earlier, we have our server route, which is a server component, and client route, which is a client component. Now, let's add a client-only function. In the source folder, inside the utils folder, create a new file called clientutils.ts. We will define a function that's meant to run only on the client side. The actual implementation isn't important right now. We just want to demonstrate the concept, so here is a simple function with a log statement and a return value. Export const client side function, console.log, use window object, use local storage, and return a client result. This function could use any browser specific features like window or local storage, things that would not work server side. Let's import and use this function in our client route component. At the top, import client side function from utils slash client utils, and within the component, const result is equal to client side function. We will render a paragraph tag for the result. When you run this in the browser, you will see the log messages pop up in the console. Use window object, use local storage. We also see the client result being rendered in the UI. There is no special server tag, and this confirms that everything is running client side as planned. Now let's safeguard our client only code. Start by installing the client only package. In your terminal, run the command npm install client only. If you come across an error, specify dash dash force. Once the command completes, import it at the top of the client utils.ts file. So import client only. When we import client only in a module, it creates a safety net. If someone tries to use this code on the server side, it will fail at build time. Let's import and use this client side function in server route page.tsx file. So copy the import statement, paste it, copy the invocation, paste it, call this client result, and render it as part of the h1 tag. Save the file, and in the terminal, you should see an error. You're importing a component that imports client only. It only works in a client component, but none of its parents are marked with use client, so they're server components by default. This error acts as a clean signal to developers about the inappropriate use of client-specific code in a server context. You will also notice the same error when you navigate to slash server route. Instead of running into problems when your application is running, you will catch these issues early during development. In summary, just as server-only code needs isolation, client-only code needs to stay on the client side where it can properly use browser features. The client-only package acts as our safety net, making sure our client-side code stays right where it belongs, which makes our apps more reliable and easier to maintain. All right, let's proceed to the next client component pattern. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe, it helps a lot.